You're watching Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary Morris. We're here all the way until 9 o'clock tonight playing music, having guests like Dr. Tom Casagrande. Nice to be here in Monterey. Yeah, welcome. Been here and for three days. You know, what's interesting is that he is my doctor from Fresno. When you had black these, hair. That's right, a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> and he checks these old eyeballs out every year to make sure I can still see. And my staff go, always goes, that guy's that guy's pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I invited the nice lady that took care of me the last time I was in in July Ashley. in your office, Ashley. And I said, Ashley, you want to be a, sh a co-host on the show? She would be a good one. Yeah. She'd be great on television. But mm -hmm. she has three children. Three children, yeah. yeah hard to uh, get away uh, from Fresno. School starts early in the morning. That's right. Three. Hard to get them away. But anyway, Tom, thanks for being here tonight. You know, nice to be here. as I was thinking about interviewing you tonight, one of the things that came into my mind was how we all take our eyesight for granted. And let, if you have good vision, yeah, a lot of people take it for granted. But if your vision is not very good, those people don't take it for granted. Well, and they that's, can see us every year. That's where you come in. And uh, let's talk about an eye exam at least once a year, Tom. Isn't that so important to folks? Because most people take their eyesight for granted, and so they don't have their eyes checked. It's it's good to have an eye exam uh, once a year when you're at least past fifty. It's a good idea. Uh -huh. When you're younger, year to year and a half, it's a good idea to because. But what, things that happen in the eye, if, the, if you catch them early, it's easier to treat. Well, I was going to say, you know, so. as people get older, obviously the word cataract comes into the vocabulary. Well, that's one thing that can happen. There's other things like glaucoma and macular de degeneration. And other things like high blood pressure that can affect the eyes. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is much more prevalent where I'm at with the population we have. Diabetes can affect your vision. Cataracts is one thing. But cataracts, you know, are t taking a cataract out now is a stitchless, bloodless procedure that uh, is very, uh, um, very safe procedure. And so, uh, done with a get laser. Your, get your no. We don't use lasers. No laser. So how do they how do they remove a cataract? You could take. You could make the cut with the laser, but you still have to take the the lens out, your natural lens, and put an implant in, which is kind of a small contact lens. I see. To replace it, and then you can. You now, can does see. that give you twenty twenty vision again? Well, it gives you good vision if you mo most of the time, and the, and so that's you know. You're, you're going to be uh, way better off than you were when you had the cataract. So. Now, what are, what do you do for people? Uh, what I know you don't do this, but mm. what do you do for people who don't want to have to wear glasses? What do, What's that surgery called? You've got, you can do, uh, a, there's a couple things you can do. You can wear contact lenses, which is less invasive but you can do lasik which is lasik that's where you were you it's a laser that sculpts a curve in your cornea uh -huh. but that only moves one one focal point so if you're have good reading vision and you're 50 and we make you see good in the distance now you'll need glasses for uh, close. so now, now how about monovision how about when they do one can, eye for far and one eye yeah, for close you, that that works or we have actually multifocal contact lenses we have three ways to do it you could you could set both eyes for distance and then wear reading wear glasses Re to reading read glasses. that gives you the best night vision by the way yeah or you could do one eye near one eye far that can work for a lot of people if the contact lenses but there's also uh multifocal contact lenses multifocal where, contact and lenses. then we we i've been over here in Monterey for the last three days at the Monterey, Monterey Symposium with 350 doctors and looking at the new stuff that's coming out. And, what, and one of them is new contact, better contacts that can give you vision, reading, and distance, and they're comfortable. And, and I do fit them, and they do work. Ah, see, so now we that's also, something I we didn't also know also learned about... about uh, Drops that help to help to uh, regenerate tissue in your cornea to help with dry eyes. That's new. That's coming out. 
They and you told have... me about one that really interested me. You said there's a drop you can put in that kind of opens your eye a little. Well, it's bit. how's it's that a, work? It's a for for those of you that are past mm, fifty five, past fifty, a lot of you have the <laughs> you have a little lid droop. <laughs> lid droop. Or, That's or it. The, lid it, droop. We call it a lid droop, but it's really the skin over uh -huh. over the, the upper eye. lid uh -huh. and. Uh, there's a new uh, a new eye drop out that you put it in, put it on, you know, the uh -huh. eye, and for four to six hours it will give you a little bit of what we call an eye lift. An eye in, lift. In, don't have to have lay, surgery. In layman's terms, you don't have to have a surgery. So wow. And it's uh, I've used it about ten times on on ten different patients, and it it does work. You don't have to have surgery, so it's it's good for for but those that want to go out. Or uh, you're not going to use it every day, but yeah. you might use it on the weekends or, or whatever. Yeah, you want um, you look want to look your best. Yeah. Now it does you work. do need a prescription for that, though. You need prescriptions for for um, for all of these things. Yeah. Dry eye is a is a you know as we get older, our eyes dry mm -hmm. because certain goblet cells we call them in the lids dry up, and then, and we have we have. Uh, burning scratchy eyes there's a new we learned about a new nasal spray that helps uh, your eyes produce uh, more tears really? and that works quite well so there's new stuff if, so this was all if, in your symposium here this, in monterey this was the all in the symposium days. with we uh, 21 hours of education so i learned about a lot of different things how many doctors there was 350 doctors 350 there, yeah, from all over california all over california mostly california it was good to see old Old friends. old friends from all over the state that I've, and um, I want to say that I love Monterey. Yeah. Want to know the three things? My three top things I did in Monterey. Want to hear about that? Yeah, sure, well, absolutely. First one we was, we want to hear. As Montre Montreal. 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 Yeah, you went to uh, Montreal for dinner for the uh, scallops. That the was great. Scallops, okay. But there's a bakery called. Alta. Alta, yeah. Everybody knows Alta the, with the line around the oh, block. And they have in. the best orange scones. Orange oh my scones, goodness. yeah. So that's number two. And what then, was your and third And then there's joy? the other one. Was, it was a place used called 1833. Ah, yes. It's now because called... Because it's, it's got now called uh, Adobe. It's called Stokes Adobe. Stokes Adobe. Yeah, Mrs. Stokes was the and original owner. the bartender owner. there is pretty amazing. He really? will make you anything you want. He, he quizzes you for about five minutes about what how he's going to make your drink really so it's pretty oh that's uh, great and, he, and and uh we had one of the chefs from uh, stokes stokes adobe on the show colby nordyke he was uh here uh preparing a few items for us a few shows back so you probably didn't see colby because he they was have, in the kitchen uh the the food there is amazing it is but to sit out there they have uh fire pits outside and it's a beautiful it's, uh, place. Be you know, people who... Uh, Monterey is a special place. It is a special place. Well, that's why I'm so happy that uh, we are here. Um, well, thanks, I, love thanks coming to my mom. I love coming here once a year to the symposium. Yeah, well, you have to make sure that next time you come over, you let me know in advance so we can get together and have dinner. I'll That'd take you fun. to a couple of places you probably haven't been to before. I know you will. I, I, well, you're, we're both Italians, so we love our uh, we that's love right. our, we, we love food. We love the, the pasta. We, we, we're either eating or talking about food. <laughs> Amen to that. Dr. Tom Casagrande, he is uh, 2020 Optical in Fresno. Well, it's 2020 Optometric in Fresno. Optometric. I've been there uh, 37 years. Oh, Tom, I can't started believe it. Started when I was it. 11. That's why I looked so Well, that's so why I had dark hair when I started yeah. coming to you. No, but... Uh, in all honesty, I'm so happy that I've been able to be there for 37 years. Yeah. And you've year, just expanded, too. We did. Now we've added 2,600 square feet. Yeah, I much have a, bigger. I have a partner who's amazing, Jenna, Dr. Jenna Ballardinelli. Great. I want to meet her next time. Oh, I'm she's... Because when you retire, us, I need somebody two, to take care of my eyes. Well, the two of us are doing some <laughs> amazing things. We're, we're uh, adding new things all the time all the time there and it's it's she's been wonderful yeah. and uh but no we it's there's a lot of new stuff and so come by and see us you know what's interesting is um, tom has always believed in telling people in tv land about his business his uh, practice and uh some years back 
Um, there was a show, a local show in Fresno that I helped launch over at Ventura TV and Appliance called Connect With Me with John Malos. And he was the exclusive advertiser with his company for Connect With Me. So thank you for that because I think that was about seven years, uh, Tom. That yeah, you that, were, was, that was fun. Yeah, that you were a, a sponsor of that program. Anyway, thank you for making the, the trip over. I know you're going to jump in the car now and head back to Fresno mm -hmm. tonight. Patience in the morning. And patience to see tomorrow because it's a busy I love, place. I love doing what I do. I know you do. I can tell. And yeah. me too. I love what I'm doing. I know and this do. is what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> having people on like you. Hey, thank, thank you thanks, so much well, for Thanks for having me tonight. on. It was, it was fun to. Yeah. Got a fun. It's a good way to end my. Your stay, my in, stay Monterey. in Monterey. And we'll send you a copy of the link here and put it on your website. That'd be good. Okay. Yeah. All right.